the Joe Rogan experience. I've I've been involved in the sport in one way or another professionally since 1997. You know, that's when I first started working for the UFC. So it's been that's a long fucking time, man. You know, that's a long fucking time. I keep hearing rumors that Dana White is going to become a boxing promoter. I've heard for like five years. He is. He is. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they're working on some shit. I can't really tell you much, but they're definitely working on some shit. Yeah, they um, they put together the Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather Jr. fight, of course, with TME, um, uh, with um, uh, uh, Floyd's uh, company, uh TBE, rather. What does uh, it call it? Well, the money, the money team. Yeah. TMT. TMT, right? TMT the money right. team. That's what his promotion team is called, right? TMT? Mayweather Promotions. The money, Mayweather Promotions. His crew, I guess. Like TMT, right. yeah. So he and they, they did this sort of co-promotion for that big fight, and then they're working on some other thing with Floyd, where Floyd wants to get involved with them to promote something else, and it might involve... MMA fighters might involve boxers and they've actively talked to a bunch of other boxers and they're trying to put some stuff together but yeah they Zufa boxing is a real thing they want to UFC wants to put together some uh, boxing matches and maybe even some crossover fights I just wonder how that works because the the UFC model just won't exist in the boxing world like you can't you won't have enough control you don't have to you just have to schedule a couple big fights I mean uh, they're not going to do it like they do the UFC where they do a fight like the UFC literally is a fight every week yeah right now like for the next five weeks there's a fight every weekend and people are hitting yeah. pay-per-view dollars well it's espn plus or espn and sometimes pay-per-view yeah, dollars I thought, Some of the yeah. fights are free. <laughs> I thought the espn because i have espn plus and i was like oh great should i get to watch these ufc fights for like 5.99 a month nope yeah no no nope. it's still it's still, it's still like 65 bucks yeah, <laughs> yeah i bought it on my tv uh this morning i watched it again when i was lifting this morning and I had to pay 65 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but it's um, it's a weird thing, right? Like, you can't really do it where it's just five ninety nine and don't have pay-per-view because then the big fights won't be big fights. Mm. You know, they want... How does uh, DAZN have it? Do you have to pay? On no. Top? You don't. That's their whole thing. Oh, like, so the Tyson Fury and Deontay, that's going to be on DAZN. No, no, no. Tyson Fury and Deontay, I think, is a simulcast between Fox, if simulcast is the right word, and ESPN. In other words, they're going to have their own separate pay-per-views that you can watch whichever production you like, which is going to be something like... Um, really? Yeah, yeah. So who's like, the commentators? Then it becomes who's the commentators. Well, it depends on where you tune in. If you go to ESPN, you'll hear their, their people. They got their own. I think they have their own broadcast. I. I this, Why this don't what, they use I Max think. Kellerman? I am so confused. I loved his boxing commentary, and he doesn't comment on live fights anymore. I think that's got to be his own choice. I mean, I can't imagine that they don't want. He's How probably, the fuck he's would he busy. not want to do that? He was so good at it. I don't know. He's he was got his one own of my show. favorite guys. Andre I, Ward is also one of my favorite guys. 